Hello guys, this is Sami from Shortpoint. In this video, I want to show you the new feature we included in Shortpoint 5.1, which is custom fonts. Now, after you upgrade, you go to site settings, and from here you go to Shortpoint dashboard, and then click on site customizations, and then customize my site. Your site homepage will load with Shortpoint branding panel enabled on the left hand side. Now uh, you go to fonts and typography and then you go to base is the place where you can change the default font of your site. Now here we have 800 of the most popular web fonts in the internet. And as you know already, when you click on the font, the font will be applied on your site automatically. Now uh, let me show you now how we can add other fonts. For example, I want to start by going to Google Fonts website where we have many fonts here. So let's see how can we add fonts from Google site. So select any font you want by clicking on this plus button. So I will select this font and I want to select this font as well. After you're done adding uh, the fonts to the library, you click on this bar at the bottom and all you have to do is to copy the code on the standard box. So we copy this code from here and then we go to our site and then let me show you where you can add the custom fonts. You go to utilities, custom fonts. Here you can add fonts from Google, fonts.com, Adobe Typekit and Advance if you want to upload your fonts manually. So for this example, I will go to Google and here I will paste my the code I just copied from Google fonts and uh, click on apply. That's it. Just make sure guys that you have one link added to this box at all times. Do not add more than one link. After you click on apply, go back to the same place, fonts and typography, you go to base and from here we can see that the new fonts are added autom automatically to the top of the list under custom fonts category. When you click on this one, the fonts, uh, the new fonts will be applied to the site. Now let me show you how we can add fonts from this website, from fonts.com. It's also had a lot of fonts here. So um, let's select a font. So I will go and I click on, for example, uh, this font. This is uh, the font. This is how it looks. Now um, in fonts.com, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. When you select a font, you need to add the font to web project. So let's add this font to our web project. So we click add to web project. And from here, we select the style. So I will select fill and I will select these two styles. And then you add the font to the project. If you don't have a project here, you need to create one. I already created one called short point. And that's it, the fonts are added to our web project. Click on Manage Web Projects. This is the, the web, these are the web projects I have in my account. This is short pointer project. And as I can see here, we have uh, the fonts added to the fonts list. And one thing you need to and you need to make sure, guys, you need to add your tenant domain or your SharePoint site to the domains here. As you can see, I added our tenant, which is uh, this one. I added it to the domains list. And also you need to make sure to publish your changes. So let's publish our work by click on this icon, republish the project. And that's it. Now we are ready to take the code. So let's go to publish options. And from here, you need to copy this code and then go to home, go back to utilities, custom fonts, fonts.com now and paste the code in the script. Again, make sure that you have only one script added to this box at all times. Now there is one more thing you need to copy. Go to fonts.com and you need to copy the font names from here. So select everything click copy and paste it here apply the fonts are added let's go click back we go to base again fonts and typography base click on fonts and we can see our fonts are added here now this is a known issue you see the fonts are added but it's not loaded yet on the site that's because the uh, uh, fonts.com has an, a, an issue with caching the files so to solve this issue and in order to see it 
If you open in another browser, you will see your uh, changes. But for now, if you want to solve it in immediately, go to utilities, custom fonts, fonts.com. And on the script, all you have to do is to add the question mark, uh, version equal, uh, for example, uh, 20, any number here. This will force the browser, you see, this will force the browser to load a new version of fonts.com script. The fonts are uh, not nice here, but uh, it's just for demonstration purposes. So you go from go back or base, and then that's the that's our font from uh, fonts.com. Now let me show you how we can add fonts from uh, Adobe Typekit. So these are the fonts in uh, in Adobe uh, Typekit. Let's select uh, this font for example. This is the font we want to add to our site. Now, Adobe Typekit, you need to add the fonts to a kit. So, after you, to a web kit. So, after you select the font, you click on this icon, Add to Kit. You can create a new kit or select an existing one. I already created one called ShortPoint. And uh, it, this tool will appear. This is the font added to our kit. You can add as many fonts as you want. Two things you need to make sure, guys, to do before you get the code. Go to Kit Settings and make sure you also add the domain here for your site in the domains list and make sure also to click on Publish. It's published. Now click on Embed Code, copy this code and then open your site again. Go to the same place, to Utilities, Custom Fonts, Type Kit and we paste the code here. Also make sure you have only one script added at all times. Click on apply, the fonts are added. Let's go back now to see our font, fonts and typography, base. And as you can see, that's the font we added from Adobe Typekit. It will be loaded on the site. So that's how you can add custom fonts from the most popular fonts websites in the internet. And the last one is when you go to utilities, you have custom fonts advanced. This is the place where you can upload your own fonts. So first you need to upload the font files somewhere on your, uh, on your uh, sites, like an asset library, for example, and then use font face CSS to build your CSS for uh, for your new font and click on apply. This is more for uh, developers and it's more for advanced cases. If you want to know more uh, about uh, this, you click on uh, this article, read this article here and it will guide you on how to add uh, your own fonts manually. After you're done with your work, click on publish and your font will be added to your site. This feature supports SharePoint Online and Office 365, on-premise SharePoint, SharePoint 2013 and 2016, and it's all done using SharePoint publishing, uh, branding and site customization feature. That's it for uh, this uh, tutorial. Thank you very much.